Hi guys, welcome to MML Motorhouse, and uh, today we've got a video tour of the Range Rover Sport. Um, we specialise in Jaguar Land Rover, so we just love this model of Range Rover Sport. They do so well, and they are great cars. Um, so we've got a video tour of this one. We're on a 12 plate. It's only done 79, just about to tick over to 80,000 miles. So the mileage for the year of the car is fantastic, and it's in such lovely condition. So it's the HSC Luxury model. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you a quick wander around the car once, and then we'll go back around it for a second time in more detail, run through the spec, uh, any imperfections, and give you a really kind of uh, detailed tour of the car. And we're just finding these video tours really useful. So many of our customers now looking to buy uh, cars from us online with delivery options. And it's just nice if you've seen a video tour, you feel like you've had a more comprehensive kind of look at the car. Um, you're not relying just on the photos or just on our say so. It's just a nice way to, to buy a car. And then when it turns up, you can enjoy the day because you know exactly what's turning up and you can just enjoy your new car. But equally, so many of our customers now travel into CS and they, they come nationwide from everywhere. And we know there's a lot of time and uh, money involved in that. So before you kind of choose to make the commitment or not to make the commitment, Again, we're just finding a video tour hopefully really useful and when you turn up on the day you sort of feel more confident about the journey you've had so before i get into this one just quickly all of our cars they come for 41 point health check with our technicians make sure they're roadworthy safe anything that needs doing is done um, it come with a brand new service so we'll have a new service done on it um, if it needs a new MOT, we'll have a new MOT on it. But I've got a feeling this one, it's just come in. This one's already got quite a long MOT on it. So if that's the case, we'll leave it as it is. And it also comes with a three month warranty, which you can extend. So just, you know, you've got the warranty, uh, a new or long MOT, a new service and a full health check. You can just buy the car in confidence knowing that you're spending your money uh, and it's a good car, it's a good product. It's gonna look after you. So right, let's get into it. So obviously 80,000 miles, um, just about to tick over to on a 12 plate. Absolutely lovely, it's in such a nice color. Um, it really is quite, so you don't see too many in this color. Um, it's kind of like almost like a bluey gray. So it's really lovely um, and it's in good, good order. So let's get into the video tour. So if we start on the windscreen, I know there's a lot of glare from the warehouse and the lights. So you might not be able to see, you know, too much, but yeah, fundamentally very good, you know, no big, stone chips in that no big cracks in that so no need to worry about having to do anything with the windscreen it's uh, it's in really nice condition um you know you've got the sensors at the top for the automatic wipers coming down in front of the car down to the bonnet very very nice you know the paintwork's lovely on the car you'll see that as we go around and it's just all very clean and tidy it's obviously been well looked after front headlight there really nice condition not smoked over no water ingress obviously you're running xenons on the car and they've got the day the day running light uh, leds here which light up they look really good and it's a nice way this was obviously a facelift of this generation so that was one of the things they did they upgraded the the front headlights and you kind of got for example clearer side repeaters there silly little things like that but it does make a real difference it kind of lifted the the life of these cars very very good coming on to the edge of the bonnet really nice they sit quite high anyway but really not suffering from stone chips the odd one here and there the text the actual range rover text slightly delaminated just sort of see it's losing a bit of its original color we can change that if you want it's not a problem we can take it back to silver or we can put black text on there so let us know it's not an issue what we'd like to do is probably leave it as it is now and give the customer the choice so if you want the lettering done let us know and just let us know the color you want doing you can have kind of a little bit of a little bit of a touch on your own car then can't you front parking sensors fog lights all very very good Bumper looking in good condition, no issues. Again, really not suffering from stone chips at all. The odd one here and there. Down here on the front, we've got a little bit of a mark, uh, which actually, in fairness, probably will polish out. It's got a little bit of a mark here and a bit of a scratch here. Um, I think a lot of that is it's, it's not even finger deep, so I imagine we could probably polish a lot of that out. But just be, be aware there's a couple of little marks here and here, but we'll do our best just to buff that out. Um, I mean, you step away from the car and you can barely see it, but uh, just bear that in mind. Again, these videos are designed to show you exactly what we see. There's nothing to hide from our perspective. Uh, we want you to see everything we're seeing so that you find the video useful. Looking down the driver's side, lovely and clean. Lines are great, no dings, no dents. All our cars are HPI clear, so if you want to see a copy of that, do let us know. We'd be happy to forward it over to you or show it to you on the day. Onto the front alloy. So you've got really nice alloys. Um, I actually think, I, I might be wrong, but I think this particular style of alloy was an optional extra. Um, so I think the customer who obviously originally bought this car would have paid more to have them put on, but they're lovely wheels. Um, tires looking good. I've had a quick look at all the tires around the car. 
They look like there's plenty of tread. They're wearing well. Um, but again, our technicians will check that and the health checks. It's just obviously just my comments from a visual inspection, but they will be checked properly. But, you know, discs look really good through the alloy as well. Alloy itself, not too bad. A couple of little scuffs on it. If you just have a look around it, you know, not onerous at all, but a few little scuffs here and there. Just bear that in mind. Side vent there looking really good. So many of those start to fleck away, but that's perfect. Wing mirror, always check the wing mirrors on the Range Rover. That's the classic thing that gets put in a hedge, but very clean. You can always tell whether it's been looked after if someone's driven it well. You get to a Range Rover and that's covered in sort of scratches. You know they've not really driven it with care, but if you get to that, it's a big car and that's clean, then often they've looked after the rest of it and actually known how to drive. Um, coming down here, Lovely and clean on the door, really nice paintwork, no dings, no dents. We've got the keyless entry here, so as long as you've got the keys on you, uh, in your pocket, on your bag, for example, you can press this button to lock it and unlock it. You can also just walk up to the car and pull the handle when you unlock it. So it's really useful. So if you, obviously it's raining or you can't find your keys, you don't have to find them as long as they're on you. Coming down the side of the door, the shut line, a little bit of a mark there and there, just where people have knocked the door. It's not, again, not onerous, just worth pointing out. A couple of little marks there on the door shut line. Down there, the footstep looking really good. Um, very, very good. Again, our technicians will check underneath it, make sure it's holding up well, but certainly looks really good. Rear door, very clean. Again, keyless entry at the back. Shut line there, absolutely immaculate. Couple of little marks, there's a small mark there, small stone chip there. So again, nothing to worry about in the slightest, but just, you know, bear those bits in mind. But other than that, really nice. And again, look, lovely privacy glass on the back as well. Just nice, it looks good, smartens the car up. When you see a range of a sport with no privacy glass on the back, they look good, but they almost look too classic. So it's nice to have that. And obviously useful if you've got kids and you're trying to keep the sun off them or pets, it's a nice thing to have. Rear the car, very good. Rear alloy, um, again, tyres looking good. Alloy, bit scuffed. You sort of see as you go around it, a few little scuffs on that. So it might be something you want to do, get them refurbed over time. You might want to talk to us about it. You know, we can always try and work something into a deal. Um, you know, we've got some great alloy wheel companies around here that do a brilliant job. And you can change the colour of them as well if you wanted to. So you can kind of, again, just sort of have a bit of a, bit of a customisation on your own car. Onto the rear of the car. Again, you've got the facelift rear lights, all very, very nice, all very clean. There's a little bit of a mark here on the rear, on the rear uh, bumper, just a little mark there. You can just have a quick look. So someone's just obviously caught it. Could be touched in. Um, you know, we'd rather just show it honestly, but you could always touch that in. Just a little bit of a mark there. It's quite low on the car, so it doesn't really stick out, but just bear that in mind. Rear parking sensors, rear camera. Got a load shelf on this one, which is nice. Just protects a lot of the bumper. Uh, a couple of little marks here and here. It's come down here. Yeah, a couple of little scratches. Nothing major, just where, obviously, it's quite, a, you know, that's the part of the car that really gets used, isn't it? So it always gets a little bit on it. But like I say, nothing major. Just a couple of couple of little marks just to be, just to be aware of. But again, you know, I'm stood about half a foot away from the car at that point. Um... Range Rover badge, again, looks like it was black at one point, just starting to lose its, lose its colour. So again, we can change that to whatever colour you want. Other than that, looking pretty good indeed. Then on to the rear of the car. Uh, we've got a little bit of a mark here. Again, we can try and polish some of this out, but a little bit of a mark here on the rear bumper uh, where someone's just knocked that. Uh, nothing major, but again, just bear that in mind. It's the rear bumper, just underneath the light. So a lot of that might polish out. Um, but just bear that in mind, there's a little bit of a mark on that. Can you see that? Coming down to the passenger side, really nice and clean. Rear alloy, again, same story as the rest. Good, good looking tyre on it. Alloy, a couple of little scuffs on it, nothing major, but just bear that in mind. Door line, really nice, no issues there. Nice and close on the paintwork. Again, the paintwork's lovely. There's no dings in it, no dents in it. So it's really, really good indeed. Side skirt looking good. Let's come on to here, on the door line here. Not too bad at all. Couple of little marks there, but nothing major. Other than that, very, very clean. And onto the front alloy. Again, exactly the same story as the rest. A little bit of curbing, but fundamentally looking, looking pretty good. Wing mirror housing, very nice indeed. 
So there we go. That's the outside. We're going to have a look inside now. Um, fundamentally, pretty good. You know, obviously you've got the lettering, which we can sort out, no problem at all. We've got some scuffs on some of the alloys, and there's a couple of marks on that rear bumper. Uh, but other than that, um, it's got to say, it's in really nice condition. It's looking absolutely lovely. Let me just have a quick look inside the car here. So we've got the black leather seats, which is a nice combo, nice and classic. Can't go wrong, can you? Black with white stitching. Really nice condition. Again, being an HSE luxury, you've got the upgraded leather. So really nice, comfy seats. And they're in really good condition, even here on a driver's bolster. Absolutely lovely. A little bit of wear here on the lower bolster. You're always going to get that, uh, but nothing major at all. Um, no rips, no cracks. Perforated leather. It's just really good in here. Right, we're going to jump inside and start it up because it's freezing today. So mileage-wise, 79,946. So obviously soon to tip over to 80,000. Start the car up. Got two keys on the car, two main keys. Uh, smart key battery low. There we go, talk of the devil. So we'll get that taken care of. No problem at all. Car ticks over really well. I've actually driven this car and it drives so well. We drive loads of these, what we sell. And it is so together. It's so nice over the bumps. There's no knocks, there's no noises. The suspension holds the car well. The gearbox works really well. There's loads of power, no smoke. You wouldn't expect it, but no smoke. Um, and it drives so straight. It drives really, really straight. Uh, steering wheel doesn't wobble. It's absolutely fantastic. So, a little quick look over here. So obviously again, we've got the newer facelift Range Rover interface. Um, so if we go here, audio, video, we should have DAB radio. Have we got TV on this? I think we have. Um, oh, I think it's lost service in here. Oh, here we go. So yes, we've got radio FM, DAB radio. You can connect your music, stream it through the phone. You've also got TV on here. Um, we won't have reception in the warehouse on DAB. We never do, but I know it was working because I played it when I was driving it. Um, sat nav. Let's make sure that's all working. We agree. There we go. Oh, perfect. And that's exactly where we are. Leighton Road in Salbury, if you want to come and see us. So sat nav's working really well. Um, and then you've got the rest of it. You can play with the car, change the ambient settings. You can connect your phone, obviously, you know, do your hands-free calls. Coming down here, a little bit of wear on the start-stop button, but nothing major. Pretty good. Much better than most I've seen. Um, these are your sort of, like, if you don't want to use the screen, these are your kind of inter hard face interface buttons here. Coming down here, we've got the uh, CD. Uh, heated seats working really well. I had them on the other day, so they are working really well. Air conditioning. And again, obviously, we've got the newer gearbox. So we've got the twizzle knob, which sinks down when you turn the car off. Uh, park, reverse, neutral drive, and then the sport mode over there. Electronic handbrake working well. Suspension, absolutely fine. Um, classic signs on these, when you put them up and down, they start to creak. Is your compressor on the way out? Is your suspension got a problem? Maybe, but no such problems on this. Lovely and smooth. Right over here, leather centre console, very good. We've got a fridge that needs cleaning, so I'm sorry about that. We'll clean that out, but we've got a fridge, which is brilliant. Leather dash over here, really nice condition. And then again, we've got the upgraded Harman Kardon sound system. Just a really nice sort of blend over there. Headlining, nice light headlining, which is actually good because the car's, if you have the darker interior, it's nice to have a contrast up here. Headlining, not sagging, really good condition. No marks, car smells good by the way. Doesn't smell of pets, doesn't smell of smoke at all. Um, onto the steering wheel, we've got Triptronic controls if we want them. Um, over here, we've got our adaptive cruise control, hands-free and absolute necessity, the heated steering wheel. So again, that was a really good thing to have. Even if you don't want it, it's a great thing to have as a resale, but it works so well. Talking of the steering wheel, lovely condition. No issues whatsoever. Very, very good. Very, very nice indeed. So a quick look at the, here we go. So we've got electric memory seats. There's your upgraded sound system. A little bit of ambient lighting, which is nice. Automatic lights in the rear, loads of space. Doesn't look like the rear's been used much at all. We've got isofix points in here, but it's all very, very clean and tidy. Heated seats down there for your, for your passengers. Very, very nice. And then finally into the boot, make sure this works. Should be one click and up it goes. There we go. And really nice. You've got the parcel shelf, nice clean boot. Um, you can always tell if you come into the boot with one of these and they're trash, then you just know it's been worked hard, but lovely and clean, no issues at all. Exactly how we want to see it. Just make sure that shuts properly. There we go, that is the Range Rover Sport. So look, I really hope this video helps. Um, any questions you've got from it, give us a call. You know, if you want more details on the car, 
areas, specific areas filmed or photographed, we'd love to help. Just give us a call, a message, a WhatsApp or an email. We'll always come back to you. If you're looking at delivery, just give us your postcode. We can get an ETA on when we can get the car to you and how much it's going to cost. Equally, if you want to come and see it, we'd love to show you the car. So let us know when you want to come down. We'll get you booked in um, and get you over here. We'd love to show it to you. So anyway, I hope that helps. I hope the video is useful. Hopefully we'll hear from you soon. Thanks.